This is what the current storm shelter looks like. It's a small room underground with nine chairs set up around me, but the commission voted to build a new storm shelter and that shelter will be built above ground. This will just be so-called icing on the cake. Greg Stringfield is the pastor at Mount Zion Baptist Church. They've gotten calls from people in the area trying to shelter at the basement of the church. But we wouldn't have a large enough area to do so. Across the street, behind the Monrovia Volunteer Fire Department, the current public storm shelter sits. But many may not be a fan of going inside. It gets musky and smelly in there. The roof is cracked, cobwebs hang, and even the lights don't work. That's why Commissioner Phil Vandiver worked to get a new storm shelter built. Wednesday morning, the commission it all in favor unanimously voted to get it done. And people in the area say they're excited. It's great that we have places that we can go to to get out of you know bad weather or anything like that. So I think it's fresh in you know everybody's mind, especially when we hear forecasts today that they're projecting tomorrow we could have some really bad weather. Now that new storm shelter will be built right here on top of the old shelter and it should be built within the next 90 to 180 days. Reporting live in Madison County, Alex Torres Perez, Way 31 News.